Earthlings, welcome to Unmuted. We've got your gaming and esports hot topics, hot tweets, spiciest memes, and flowery shirts. I'm AJ Fry. I like this better than Marissa. I'm Brody Moore, and this is how the show's gonna work. Producer Tyler's got two minutes on the board for each topic, and we will present and possibly argue. Maybe we'll see. Luckily for all of us, there is a mute button only to be used when we need it for yes. 30 seconds. That is exactly it. And shout out to chat. We like it when you call us out when we're wrong and praise us when we're spitting the truth. There will be less of that with Brody and I <laughs> hosting together. No Marissa around. Uh, let's kick off our top stories with some intriguing news, namely Mobile League of Legends. That's not as strange as it sounds. According to uh, Reuters, uh, Tencent and Riot Games are working together to develop a mobile version of League of Legends. It has long been reported that Riot has rejected previous attempts to make a mobile version of its popular MOBA. It has changed its mind. Reportedly, the game has been worked on for a year, but it won't be launching in 2019. So, Brody, what do you think of a mobile version of LOL? Is it too little, I too mean, late? I don't think the reason is really that unknown, is it? It's called dollar bills. Yeah, that's the you reason You gotta get those dollar bills. Mobile games are huge right now. We see it, yeah. especially in the Asian region. Like, yes. just absolutely nuts. And League of Legends being on mobile, maybe a bit too late. I mean, you already got, like, Arena of Valor and there's stuff. Like, there's a few big ones. There's Arena of Valor, there's Vainglory. Yeah, Vainglory. There's Glory. Mobile Legends Bang Bang, which I think has the best name. League of Legends. Enough. You're not gonna touch Mobile Legends Bang Bang. <laughs> you just can't even. Don't but, even try. But they're all ripoffs of the original League yeah. of Legends. I just don't understand how these games work on the mobile platform when you've got so many different actions like but people I'm with you on that one yeah. um, I mean I, I think we're already gonna agree here on the fact that you know mobile gaming is well, it's mobile gaming it um, is inferior I, neither one of us I, has to mute the other we agree on this. I don't think I really don't it's the clout behind League of Legends is going to be good enough to pull some people there. There Absolutely. are going to be people playing. Um, you know, as long as this would be the real question: Is it going to play to the same patches? Is the game going to play the same, Ooh. or are they going to be different instances? Because I can see this being a good tool for people to practice. Um, obviously, not mechanics, but practice understanding what a character in certain builds will. So, say a pro right, wants right, to like right. they're on the bus and they don't have their PC out, they can go into this, practice with a character, say, okay, this build works with this, this, this. That if could it was be like useful. a simplified version where you've got like your hero pool of maybe five or ten as opposed to the hundred. That, yeah, I, I guess we'd need more than five. I don't know if this is good. if this is an exact copy. I could yeah. I could see it actually working out well, and I actually be interested to see mobile players play against PC if they do some sort of cross play. But I don't think that'll happen. It'll probably be its own instance. Um, Ten Cent, yeah. Generally, I mean, it's weird because it's like t Ten Cent is League of Legends as well. So like I could see yeah. a full crossover. I, I don't know. This will be interesting. They'll get some people, but there's already a base in like Vainglory and Arena Valor, as we said. Exactly. So they're not going to take over that. I don't think. In other League of Legends news, Origin is looking to hire a sports psychologist for its Spanish team. Sports psychiatrists are occasionally employed by esports teams and are more commonly used to manage players' emotions, reduce stress levels, and increase team morale. Considering Origin fell out of the LVP Spring Playoffs in a crushing loss, maybe a sports psychiatrist is what the team needs to get to that next level. Uh, AJ, you know, we've seen this a few times. Do you think, like, this should just be standard? No? The shade throw. <laughs> uh, no, I just got caught up for a moment imagining what those psych psychiatric sessions are like. Is the, the yeah. yes, and uh, when your bottom laner uh, decided to go mid, how did how did that make you feel? <laughs> like, what is, I guess, like, is your team's I inability to mitigate alt usage affecting how you sleep at night? Can you imagine having to train? Like, are there are there psychiatrists now that are training specifically for esports, or do they have to get into this and pretend that they care about the words they're saying? Because <laughs> yeah, when you put it that I, way, that sounds ridiculous. Like, but, are the psychiatrists going to be able to keep up with the lingo and <laughs> jargon of the esports scene? I, I feel like it might be a little different. Than that I feel like it's going to come down to like actual like breaking down who a person is. Like, I feel like the psychiatry is going to be pretty similar to what they standard like do standard like this is another well, for, person yeah it, it's not yeah <laughs> like you have to call them like you know they're mid laner and stuff <laughs> that would be amazing if they did but um I'm to get sure them to like them more right it's appropriate and useful in the same way that it is for regular sports teams and, and if you've got uh, an industry uh, an entity uh, behind these high performance mm -hmm. individuals with the resources to provide for them better care uh, than you would typically find in other industries especially mm -hmm. when there's so much asked of you absolutely 
teams should be having psychiatrists uh, to help yeah. their teams. I think as a, as a very empathetic dude myself, uh, I believe that every team should, <laughs> should have a, uh, a psychiatrist <laughs> on, on the team. You know, I think, um, I, think it's, I think it's useful, especially with these kids that are growing up without, a lot of these guys are they're gamers. You know, a lot of us yeah. grew up without a lot of social interaction um, outside of, um, you know, our gaming. Like, you know, you had a couple of friends at school, but you're playing games all the time, you stay at home. So they didn't, weren't able to develop all the skills and they might not be able to develop the ability to be under pressure to have all these fans coming at them, yeah. have the pressures of losing like uh, these guys experience. Especially as esports yeah. uh, are taking off in the way that they are right now. I mean, it was not a thing back when I was in high school. There was just no pressure yeah. on any of you. It is intimidating were, to yeah. suddenly have a lot of people looking at you. Yeah. Okay. Next story. Fortnite got an Avengers crossover, then that John Wick crossover, and now it's getting a crossover with Air Jordan. It's true. The popular Battle Royale's latest crossover is with Michael Jordan's brand of shoes and clothing. Players will have access to a new game mode called Downtown Drop, along with new in-game Jordan-branded items. So, is there such a thing as too many crossover events, and what would your dream crossover event B. Would it be these Michael Jordan it's, shoes? It's funny. It? It's funny because like uh, obviously there's a market out there for that. I'm just like, uh, for me it's like if I'm playing a game, the crossovers don't matter too much. I mean like I, I of course will always relate it back to the game I know, Rocket League. There's a lot yeah. of crossovers in that. Oh, yeah, you know, there's the Jurassic Park G. Yeah. You have the DeLorean uh, for Back to the Future. The MLB pack those out. Yeah. I don't particularly care about those. For me, it's just like it, I, I couldn't. I don't know what crossover I'd see. Uh, no, I was going to say I want Rocket League and Fortnite, but I don't know. I don't. It could happen now with Epic, but Wouldn't I don't be surprised know. if that's coming down the pipeline. I think maybe it's that we're at a place in our lives where we just, we don't care. We have the things we're that old. we like. We're old. <laughs> I didn't want to say it, Brody, you're younger than I am, but uh, it's just the case of like, at some point you, you don't care for those frivolous things, but this is for, for getting the money out of the pockets of the yeah. young kids who need all the cool things that make them cool. In the moment, my friend has this cool new thing. Do you can know I get Yeezys in Fortnite? Exactly. You can't afford them in real life, but you can spend <laughs> the two dollars on them in the game. And uh. I wonder if it's going to be that cheap. I mean, think, yo, in-game items are getting expensive more. now. It's like, and they don't and, help you at all. No. They just make you look cool in the game while that other player is better than you kills you. Although, uh, shout out to Fortnite, it very, very well could. They're very known for adding changes that nobody asked for. Oh. So I could imagine the Air Jordans giving you like a, you know, forty percent higher jump or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I could absolutely see that. I don't know. Yeah, when it comes to crossovers, can you think of anything? I'm just like, the, I don't know. You, you'd want like Overwatch, like what An kind of crazy Overwatch crossover? I mean, it would just be cool to have other Blizzard characters show up. Oh, in Overwatch. That's oh. Really, I like the like Blizzard skins for some of the characters, like Barbarian for Zarya, yeah, and that sort of thing. But nothing that uh, that springs to mind. Yo, Di Diablo dropping in hot in uh, <laughs> in uh, Overwatch. New tank Diablo. I, I deal with that. All right, maybe yeah. there is some crossovers I could deal with. <laughs> Anyways, last story. Lastly, the Tifu Face Clan lawsuit and drama continues to burn down parts of the internet. While Tifu has stayed quiet, Face Clan donated sixty thousand U.S. dollars to Keemstar right, so he yeah. could host three new weeks of Fortnite Friday. Uh, the amount uh, is equal to what Face says is the amount of money that they earned from Tifu's time on the team. Talk about shots. Fired. Just a recap, if people don't know, um, you know, Tifu was claiming the Phase was taking 80% of like his revenue and winnings and stuff. Right. And Phase is like, that's a load of crap. Here's the old $60,000 is all we've ever made off of him. Here right. is it back. We don't want his money. We don't want anything to do with it anymore. Uh, and and so it sounds like they're handling this in the right way, giving this I money. Think so. Uh, to Keemstar so we can, uh, Keemstar. The issue is he's giving it to Keemstar. And yeah. we all know how much we love Keemstar around here. Yeah. But, I mean, he's doing something good with it, right? These events So I, Here's good. the thing, yeah, I guess it's going back into the community at this building. point. You know, I'm like, at, at the end of the day, do you think this is going to clean FaZe's hands from all this? Like, do you think this is what the last step that FaZe needed to well, just be like, hey, you know what, we're done with this drama? Everything is about, yeah, perception. And uh, it seems like they're making the right move in this instance. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, Tifu has enough of a following to sustain himself even... Uh, Without FaZe, yeah. Exactly. So I, I think so long as they continue to toe the line that they have uh, established saying look all we ever made off him was mm -hmm. 60k which if you're signing like a, an up-and-comer as he was when they did maybe they've even invested more in him than the profit that they've been able to For reap the most part, off well, of well uh, again banks was saying that he signed tifu when he was at like 100 viewers on twitch right that, like you're not making anything even if you're taking 80 percent off a guy with 100 viewers 
that's not worth it to a multi-million dollar org like yeah. FaZe, right? Like, they, there, there's no point in even taking it like that. Like, sure, maybe you could hope that in the future, but at the end of the day, even if you're signing, even if you're signing 80% contract, that's on Tifu, yeah. you dummy, right? So it, I, I think FaZe, for me, this is a final step. It's clean their hands. But I think they're done and out. Um, and yeah. I think that the only thing we have to do from now on is watch as, uh, as those lawyers come at FaZe. And if they need to sign two new streamers, I know a couple of dudes who, uh, you know, you know, the, you start you start small and you get big. Yeah. Help us face, please. <laughs> Help us face. Help. <laughs> Anyways, it's time to check in with actual streamers and clip it. Our first clip comes from D Kane, who after getting a thousand subs on Twitch and decided to live stream himself quitting his job. Here's what happened. Hey guys, today's the day. I quit. What? That's really your response? Yeah, I got no response for you because you don't respond with my text messages. So. That's it? I'm shaking. Mike, this made me very nervous. Oh, of course it made it. That's it? I mean, all the guys turn around like, cool, get out of here. You Makes me wonder if he was like a good employee. I, I can't imagine he was. It doesn't even seem like he's that good a streamer, honestly. Oh, well, shot. If, look, if you're planning on doing something for your audience, putting the forethought into it, like, I'm going to stream myself quitting my job, you couldn't do something more creative than just saying, hey, I quit. Yeah, come walking with a mariachi band or something. Exactly. You know, like, uh, put something together. Okay. Come in and cosplay. All like, right, new business plan for us. Yeah. Streamers that are looking to quit. Uh, their jobs come to us and we'll set you up a good quitting party. Exactly. We can coordinate some kind we'll, of. We'll only take 80% of your. <laughs> <laughs> your <laughs> yeah. That's, it's we got to come up plan. with a good business name for this. I like it. While we think about it, let's move to this <laughs> next story. IRL streamers sometimes catch crazy things happening, and Gianna Lee isn't a stranger to this. Uh, this time around, she caught a guy pickpocketing. Pay attention to the guy in the background. Uncle Is it? Is because you, you have your arms. Uh -huh. <laughs> My hand is hurt. Oh no, she caught my wallet. What? Cell phone? Cell phone? Run! Here! Yes, yes, okay. It's yours? Yes, thank you. I see it. Oh, it's one of those scammer guys, too, yeah, that comes back yeah. later and said, I did you a favor. How about you throw me 20 bucks and uh, for finding your phone for you? Or you just looked in the wall and went, like, oh, there's nothing in it and noticed that he was actually on camera there. And that, well, that's the, the crazy thing out. is that she, she didn't even notice. Like, she didn't actually catch... Him. It was the camera that caught. And what was weird is that he actually had an accomplice with him. The pickpocket was walking yeah. with the lady, so it's like a two-person job. I actually saw someone being pickpocketed when I was in Beijing when I was 18 years old. Really? Yeah. Uh, they were crossing uh, crossing the street, a lady, and she had her purse, and a guy just kept crept up beside her, opened the purse, reached in and pulled out the wallet. But I was so, like, shocked. dumbfounded and shocked and also going, like, I don't, like, how do I call out pickpocketer? I don't know. Yeah, you're in a, in a place, it's not your home land, country. you don't know. Like... I had one person who spoke kind of broken English with me as a translator, and just to be able to coordinate that, and whether this guy who was, you know, going to be charged with a crime would pull out a knife and start stabbing me if oh, I was, like, yeah. I was, I was it's so too hard. scared to say anything. Also, was... yeah, I guess how do you translate to the, to the lady and be like, because you can't just say, you got pickpocketed. She'd be like, huh? Yeah, exactly. Like, she won't know. Who's this guy? Oh, that is, that's hard. Well, it's the best time of the day here where we scrolled through the Twitters to bring you all the things the pros bless us with on their timeline, like uh, when they just stop by to give us their hottest takes. Call of Duty Pro Method says, uh, stopping by to say Italian food is the best and it's not close. Indian food is also a sleeper. Spacely then quickly replied with a photo of a younger, more rounded methods. <laughs> I gotta uh, agree. Italian food is tops, though I would also put Indian food in my. I my uh, okay, so I've I, I had Indian yesterday because um, sometimes I just get cravings for it, and there yeah, are butter chicken is yeah. the bomb. Oh, there are not a lot of foods that I get cravings for, and I would say that Indian food is is some of the ones I get cravings for the most. So mm. I gotta I um, so I got a lot tier? of Italian. What's your tier? That's so hard. <laughs> I mean, like I got a lot of Italian family members too, so I've had yeah. like some good Italian cooking. Um, so you can't get. Uh, so I think he's right. Um, I will have to put the good old uh, Ronald McDonald, though. His cooking's mm, 
on point. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not, yeah. <laughs> That's where the mute comes in. <laughs> no, I, I, I couldn't disagree with that, in no. all honesty. Italian food is tops. Yeah. Uh, Mexican food, also up there for me. I, I get over it, though, because it's all the same ingredients, just shaped differently a lot of the time. That's cool. I, Different I, shapes. Yeah, yeah all right. <laughs> all right. Let's, it all tastes good. Yeah, let's keep that shape between Cod Bros going with this little back and forth between Sensor and Optics Crimzix. Sensor tweets, three months, $75,000 later, my backyard is finally complete. Backyard renovation video going live at 6 p.m. EST. Cripsic replies with the classic Stanley eye roll meme and $75,000 backyard. Sensor claps back, it was actually 74,000, but I took the extra 1,000 I made off you and those money eights to get some nice lawn furniture to finish the look. Ooh. So every time you look at your furniture, <laughs> thinking about how bad I clapped you, that's good. That's uh, that's a nice burn right there. Uh, yeah. $75,000 though. For a backyard. For a, ooh. Yeah. What? That's crazy. You know what? He should have just gone, if he needed that extra money, he should have gone to, to banks because clearly Phase Banks has a lot of money <laughs> Help you that out he's made off Tifu. I'm done. I'm, I'm done ripping on I Tifu. I tried to uh, host a, a land party in my backyard one summer back when I was a kid. Oh, yeah? It was not successful. It was, uh, you got to like have... Land party in the backyard. Yeah, but the sun's going down, so the light's all in your eyes yeah. when you're trying to game, and then the bugs are coming out and bothering you. Even if you face the other way, you got the glare. Exactly. It's just, it, it and didn't And what if it work. starts raining? Yeah. It That's was, risky pack up. It took us too long to set up, and we had to move it all into the basement. Oh, my God. So. I, commend, I commend the balls for trying that but yeah. like that is that is hard <laughs> leave your backyard for relaxing that game and our last profound thought is from a friend of the show dota analyst uh, Nas, with the realist talk mm. he says life is actually so much easier when whenever you're feeling stressed or pissed you can go outside and swing a katana at things what and that Nas! is something you shouldn't try at home <laughs> uh is he a trained professional swordsman i honestly wouldn't put it past him, man. This guy's a genius. He's a professor, as right. well as a Dota analyst. The man's a genius. So the, wouldn't put it past him that he yeah. has some skills in uh, swinging a katana around. I mean, any kind of physical activity can help you de-stress in a katana, cutting through some things like milk cartons or... He's, he's you know. playing, oh, what was that? Um, fruit... Uh, fruit Ninja. Fruit Ninja. Yeah. IRL Fruit Ninja. <laughs> Actually, I'd be down for that. Do we have a katana? Does anybody we, have a katana around here? Just get a katana and I think some I, I think we left. I actually have... Apples. A katana at home, it's dulled, it's just for a show. But sometimes oh. I do like to swing it around. Not hit anything. Right. But I feel Get him. it sharpened up, go out into the backyard. <laughs> I feel him, I feel him. All right, let's move on to crowd control. Yeah. We collect internet things and put them right here. Let's start things off how I start my day. Role play time, I'm Pichu, Lucario is the morning alarm. I think he's dead. <laughs> yeah, can we get some F's in chat for Peachy right now? F's uh, in chat. That is, uh, reminds me of the early Simpsons episode with Homer going over the gorge and, you know, oh, yeah. slamming his head on the wall on the way. Oh, it just stop, stop, stop. It's, it's the, I call it the family guy joke where it's like it just keeps going for so long that you're annoyed of it, but then all then of a sudden it, it gets funny, funny again, again. And you go through waves of it. That is yeah. a rule in comedy Rip, for sure. I love these uh, original creation Smash Brothers levels and all the fun that they mm -hmm. give us. It's a good thing Marissa isn't here for this next post. Speaking, uh, speaking of Smash characters, she's going to realize she messed up her wedding planning. Pokemon is uh, extremely ingrained in Japanese culture and now you can see exactly how ingrained pikachu themed weddings that's why yo they are obsessed with pikachu yeah over there yo the, the big question very though, cute the big question is can you get them to battle how much extra is that for them to fight can you imagine two guys in peach pikachu mascots <laughs> just going at you can't even Send get your a, arms out you're just a wrestling ring on the dance floor of your wedding for the pikachu battle <laughs> I can top this uh, personally as I actually had Mario show what? up at my wedding, arranged this with Nintendo. Yo, that guy's exclusive. How'd you get him to show up? It was magical. I went to bed thinking, wouldn't it be great if I could organize having like a Luigi and Rosalina mascot show up at my wedding because those are the two yeah, characters yeah, yeah, my yeah. wife and I play all the time. That's the cool. very next morning, I got to my desk and Nintendo had called and said, we've got uh, Mario coming to town. I said, it was amazing. Let's book him for my wedding like if we can Santa's, make this happen. The Santa's coming to town jingle with yeah. Mario instead. <laughs> that was kind of creepy. Yeah. But, but yeah. It's fun. It went over well with the kids, and uh, everyone is super excited to see Mario at, at our wedding. Nothing ever exciting happens to me. 
Well, you got to get married. Well, I'm not. Oh, no, I'll pass. <laughs> Anyways, our, our last post was titled, Shoot for the Moon, Even If You Miss, dot, dot, dot. But I think a better title would be, Hi, I have a rocket launcher, and it doesn't matter where I am. So, the, oh. it really is. You just shoot a rocket. Boom. And I, I wonder what those guys in the helicopter are thinking, though. <laughs> <laughs> like, really, they're probably like, what Oh, he's going to miss. Don't worry. <laughs> Yo, straight up, a, tr a tree just falls into you and you die, I'd be so tilted. Now, yeah. if that was GTA, that tree would have won. <laughs> <laughs> you run full speed in a car into a bush and you just, yeah. you just stop. Tree takes you down. I want to see that destruction from Battlefield in GTA, and now you have truly the most immersive world. Actually, bad idea. Everything would just be flattened out, I think, by the end of it. Everyone would just run around Complete with rocket launchers and flatland. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Entirely. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, that's it for Unmuted. Remember that you can always hit up on our socials just to say hi or send stuff to react to. So type exclamation mark socials in chat right now for all of our channels and we'll see you tomorrow.